Hi guys, uh, welcome to my newest tutorial and today it's uh, Mohammed Salah, uh, the Egyptian king as is known by his fans uh, just in front of the uh, pyramids of Giza. Okay, we've got three images, we've got uh, Mohammed here, Mo, we've got the pyramids of Giza and then we've got some clouds in the background and uh, I've done quite a few effects on them so uh, yeah, without further ado I'll get straight into it so I'm going to press command N for a new document and the uh, dimensions I'm using is 1024 by 1024 uh, it's going to be nice it's going to be a square 144 resolution pixels per inch RGB color 8-bit white background and I'm going to click create so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got three images like I said and I'm going to drop in the pyramids of Giza and I'm going to uh, grow them holding down shift and alt and I'm just going to place them roughly around there just so uh, I'm going to have Mo on the right here okay, and the pyramids in the background and I want a little bit of a sky, I like to have one third of the sky uh, yeah we'll go for around there and hit enter uh, and then make sure I've got the background layer selected so the next layer of the clouds gets dropped in and I'm just going to grow that and I'll just readjust that shortly okay so what I'm going to do now is uh, with the pyramids of Giza I'm going to go to select color range okay now I've got the fuzziness on 73% and what I did is I've, I've just selected a color here okay nice and uh, nice and close to it so we can uh, quite uh, quite define the difference between the pyramids and the background so I, I, I shuffled up and down on the adjuster and uh, came to 73 I'm going to hit OK now I'm going to press command shift and I to invert that and then I'm going to hit the layer mask button down there and it gets rid of it. Now you can see it's not quite as uh, clear and cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this little window here on the uh, the mask window on the pyramids is selected. I'm going to hold down Alt and select it. Now this shows me what areas are masked. So I'm going to select the brush tool and make sure I've got black and white selected over, over here on the palette. Uh, to start with I'm going to have a nice hard brush and I'm just going to paint on. Uh, paint with black. I'm gonna go to Alt. See how it's cleared up. See from this bit to this bit, and it just makes it nice and clearer. Now I'm just gonna leave a little gap, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the hardness just so it blends in a little bit better. Uh, we'll go with about 70%. And what this will do is it will blend it in a little bit because it's still we still had the blue sky. Uh, a little bit too far there. Still had the blue sky from before. It's not going to make that much of a difference um, anyway because of the effects that I'm going to apply to it later on. See, Mo's going to be over here, so I don't need to worry too much about that. But I'd like it nice and soft just in this area and it just blends in. And again, take your time with this, see how much uh, you want it to blend in. But I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to make your brush a little bit smaller. Like I said, Mo, uh, Mo's going to be there so it doesn't matter. So I press Alt, Alt and click back and it takes me back to there. Now the clouds look alright. Uh, I'm going to hit V for my move tool. Select the sky layer, OK, and you can uh, just adjust. But um, I'm, I'm happy with the position of the clouds for now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just name this Pyramids. Okay, and I'm going to uh, add an adjustment layer. I'm going to go to Hue, Saturation. Now, where it says Master there, I'm going to click the drop-down blocks for the blues. I'm going to drop the saturation down. Make sure uh, this little button down here for clipping mask is selected, so it's only affecting the pyramids. Uh, so these, these layers are linked in. Uh, and I'm going to move the lightness up to 100. And then I'm going to go to the reds. And I'm just going to drop the saturation down uh, to about 75. 100 is too much. We'll go with 75. And you see we've uh, just taken a bit of colour off. Uh, yeah. Next one, I'm going to go to adjustment layer. I'm going to do to uh, vibrance. Okay, and I'm just going to uh, drop that down to minus 19, minus 20. Make sure it's, uh, it's clipped again, so it's uh, just the pyramids that are being affected to it. 
So now these two layers have been clipped. I'm going to make sure I've got the sky layer selected. I'm just going to rename that sky. Just make it easier. And I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Make sure it's clipped again. It doesn't really matter because it's the bottom layer anyway. And I'm just going to go for the blues. And I'm going to drop it down to minus 90. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to add a color fill there, so I can go to, to uh, edit, fill, okay, 50% gray, overlay mode for mode, passy, 100%, click, in fact, wrong, need a new layer first before I do that, okay, fill, uh, fact, Where is it? Uh, uh, sorry, apologies. Edit, fill, overlay, hundred percent. Okay, yeah, uh, just uh, just for underneath, just in case we're uh, we're missing out any colours underneath, and then I can just get rid of that background layer. Um, let me just double check what the colour that was. In fact, what in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to get rid of that layer. Okay. And with this colour here, I'm going to use the colour ABB2BC. Okay, so it's not quite as strong. And I'm going to press Command Backspace. There we go. So it's just uh, it's like a, a bluey grey colour. There we go. Okay, apologies about that. Okay, um, and then we're going to dodge and burn. So apologies. Now we're going to add uh, a fill layer. So ignore that new layer there. So uh, sorry. So I'm going to go edit. I'm going to go fill. Contents 50% grey. Mode overlay opacity 100%. Just right. What's going on there? New layer. Miles away. Fill. There we go. Like I've just described. Change that blend mode to overlay. Okay. I'm going to go over to our dodge and burns tool. Okay, with the uh, so got, I've got the range for the midtones for the exposure ten percent. Now, if you change your uh, change your brush, I want it in the in the low lying areas. Okay, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna burn the colours, especially on these objects that are in the in the fore, foreground. Okay, you don't have to be quite as strong on the pyramids. You can see it's just starting to stand out. I'm going to leave that pyramid there in the background because it's going to give it like a little uh, little effect that it is in the background. Okay, and then I'm going to change it over from the burn tool to the doge tool. Okay, I'm just going to expose it a little bit too strong there. Play around with it. Just giving it a little bit of brightness up the top. Okay, uh, let's see how much I did with the other layer. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been about the same. Okay, so I'm happy with my uh, doge and burn. Doge and burn layer. Next, I'm going to create a new layer above this one. Okay, and the color I'm going to use. In fact, I'll go with uh, this this color over here. Okay, so the uh, the hex code for it C A C E C F. Does that look about right? This is from the color that I used before. Okay, and uh, all I'm going to do is hit the brush tool. Nice soft brush. I'm going to drop this opacity down. Ten percent. Excuse me, and I'm just bringing in a little bit of mist along the bottom, just to uh, just to add to uh, add to the effect. So that's all. Uh, that's all I'm all I'm doing there. Mist. Okay, and uh, then I'm happy with my background layer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in. I'm going to drop mowing. 
for another hard drive warm up a second. There we go. Uh, okay, now, so what I'm going to do with this is, so what uh, technique I've used before is using the pen tool, but what I'm going to do with this, because of, of Mo's hair, how oh, it's difficult, I'm going to use a, a mask tool to get rid of it, and it's quite high pixel, so it's okay, so I'm going to mask, I'm going to mask him there, I'm going to hit the B for the brush tool, okay, and to start with, I'm just going to get rid of uh, all these extra pixels, so obviously we're working non-destructively, um, Make sure you've got your opacity and flow right up. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this bit first. So what I do is when I'm cutting out people or things, uh, I use the brush tool, get as close as I can to them. Just makes it a bit easier for, uh, for in a minute when I do with the finer details. Yeah, happy days. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do underneath the arms. So as you can see, I'm just painting it out. And then what I like to do is lower my brush down and I like to bring the hardness down to around 90, 85-90%. And what I do is I just paint down the arm like this. So what I'm going to do now is just to save some time, I'm going to uh, speed it up and then I'll come back when I get to his hair. Okay, so uh, I've come back to uh, to Mo's hair now. Okay, so obviously when it's unkept and uh, untidy as Mo keeps it, okay, uh, it just keeps it very natural. Right, it's very hard to do. Uh, obviously, when you've got sports players who, uh, who who love their image and who gel the hair and uh, who've got bald heads, it's uh, really easy. Or they're wearing headwear, okay. But when you come to afros, it's uh, it's really hard. So little technique that I've picked up over the years. Okay, so. Uh, what I like to do is, first of all, I'm going to have a soft brush, and I just as I like to come in, I just like to be a bit un, uh, untidy and just nudge it in. Okay, so this is for the first part that I'm going to do, and I like to avoid the main area. So I'm just using a soft brush. I'm just coming round. Okay, and if there's any straight lines. Like up here, I'm getting rid of them to start with. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the opacity down 30%. And I'm just going to bring the flow down as well, bring that down. 30%. Okay, so you're not going to have much of an effect, but as you start creeping it in, some of this hair remains there. Okay, and it's just going to slowly start getting rid of this, this red colour that we've got in the background. And you see it's starting to fade the blue sky in. And then a little bit in there, into the hair. So it just keeps a little bit of it. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because once we've added all, added all the other effects, okay, um, you're not really gonna gonna see it that much. Just increase the opacity a little bit. Okay, so we're trying to blend in this this red color. If you need to go into the hair just a little bit, just do so. I'm going to be adding some more effects later on. Now, what I also like to do is bring the uh, bring the size real, real down. The brush. Okay, and then get in there as well. That's so that's another little technique to getting in. So we're getting rid of these pixels in in between the hair. Now, yeah, take your time doing it. Again, when it 
comes to hair like this, it's really difficult. Uh, there's loads of tutorials on YouTube, but this is just it's just the way I uh, I like to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to speed it up again, and I'm just going to finish this off and take my time. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to position Mo. So I'm just going to press Command T, go to Move Tool. Okay, and I'm going to bring him there. I'm going to make him a lot bigger than what he is. Oh, not too big. So he's going to sit on the bottom there. Just have a look, see how compared to the other one. Yeah, so his face went over there. So Command T. Out there, a little bit bigger. Okay, so uh, like I did before, let's just let's just check see how it compares. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I've got this uh, this little window here selected on the mask tool. I'm going to hold Alt and click it on the layer mask. Now you can see uh, missed little bits, so I'm going to hit B for the brush tool. Use my bracket keys on my keyboard. I'm going to make sure the flow's up, the opacity's up. Got a hard brush selected. Okay, and I'm just going to paint the rest out. Now, be careful not to undo all the work that I've just done. Okay, and you can see we've uh, just missed little bits and it just tidies it up a little bit. Under the arm, yeah, it's one under the arm. And underneath the chin. And it's looking good. I'm going to hit Alt and click that screen there. Okay, so I'm just looking here, just a little bit of uh, fine adjustment. Okay, you can see where it's just not been quite as done well there. So I'm going to hit B from Brush Tool. And I'm just going to polish this off. I'm going to drop opacity and flow down again just just a bit of a I like to say perfectionist so I'm just going to paint around his hair just, so that was really standing out to the uh, to the well trained eye you'll see it and if you need to just paint over a little bit of the hair okay it's not the end of the world because it's, it's blending in you can see quite a lot of that red colour that was On before yeah it's looking a lot better okay being quite picky now it's, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be quite close but you get the idea okay so uh, we've dropped uh, dropped Mo in. Uh, we're going to what's the next thing we're going to add? We're going to add a colour balance. Okay, and I'm just going to bring the reds up to eleven. Okay, make sure it's uh, clipping mask selected again. And the yellows. Minus five. Okay, then I'm going to add another adjustment layer. It's going to be some levels. Okay, again, make sure it's clipping mask. It's level 10. And then this slider here. And number eight. Just for a uh, small effect. And then I'm going to dodge and burn in. But I'm going to do it. So I'm going to set to uh, mill there. New layer, file, sorry, edit, fill, 50% grey, overlay, opacity 100%, and then change the blending mode to overlay. 
Okay, we're going to make sure I've got my uh, burn tool selected. Okay, and again, I've, I'm leaving it the exposure on 10% uh, up here on the mid-tones. Okay, but it's just one of those where you just got to play around with it. And the shadows, I'm just going to dodge and burn. Especially these uh, these little bits here. Okay, don't forget to change your uh, your size with the... Uh, with the brackets keys and we're just going to add a little bit of shadow effect in anyway you can see some shadows creased on his shirt again it's just going to uh, add to that effect especially this area down here especially because we're going to have the light up in the uh, top left corner as well okay underneath his neck back of his ears his beard Okay, appreciate I'm uh, rushing this just for the sake of a tutorial. But I can't emphasize enough just taking your time. There we go. Next time, number one. Just a little bit more to his arms because the light's going to be coming from the top left. So you can see already how we've made a difference. Okay, next we're going to go to the uh, Doge tool. Again, I've got the exposure set up, uh, got the mid-tones and the exposure set up at 12. Okay, and just, I'm just going to paint a little bit of the light on. So now as well, we're going to paint over his, over his face, over most face, down his arms, a little bit underneath his armpit here. And again, any of these areas. So, for example, over the top of the, uh, the cur over the creases, just adding to the effect of the shadow. Put it underneath here on his nose, his forehead. Then if we zoom right out, we can see the difference that it's already made there. So I'm just going to increase it up slightly to about 20%. And over the top of his shoulder there especially on that bit and we can see the difference it's uh, it's made already so just as that's my start state setting I'm just going to return those there okay uh, next we're going to go to uh, camera raw filter so I'm going to make sure uh, I've got uh, Mo, Mo Mohammed Salah there selected okay I'm going to go to filter okay camera raw filter now if you're using uh, CS6 or below you won't have camera raw filter obviously with the CC you will uh, so what the uh, the effects I'll be adding okay highlight shadows clarity and vibrance okay you can use a uh, adjustment less for them uh, so it's not the end of the world so with the highlights uh, I'm going to be bumping that down to minus 54 the shadows are going to go up to plus 48 with the settings I, uh, I had before the clarity okay it's going to be uh, plus 29 plus 28 okay vibrance minus 24 uh, and I'm going to click OK so see uh, you see the difference we've made already And yeah, so now at this stage we're ready to uh, to make a screenshot, okay, and for the Nick collection. So I'm going to press Command Shift Alt and E for a stamp visible. Okay, I'm going to turn it into uh, 
smart object so I can uh, go back and edit it. Uh, filter, now I'm going to go to the Nick collection. Okay, you might not have the Nick collection as a plugin. Um, you can, if you just Google it, okay, you get it uh, 33 day, 33 day trial. Uh, I'd highly recommend you just get it and try it out. It's really good. Excuse me. Uh, however, they did have a, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? They, they did have a, um, a period where it, where it was free and that's when, uh, that's when I get it. But, uh, Anyway, going to Color Effects Pro 4. Go to this plugin first. Okay, so brilliance and warmth, it's already selected. And my saturation, it's uh, still the same settings as there before, so it's minus 25%. Okay, the warmth is 24%. Okay, and I've got this little slider here. Okay, and you can see, uh, see the difference here, so I'll keep it roughly half and half. Okay, so that's brilliance and warmth. I'm going to go to cross processing down the side. Okay, method, make sure we've got B02 selected. Okay, and the strength there is 33%. I want it at 30. Okay, that's not quite the same. In fact, wrong. What I've done there is brilliant and warmth. Okay, minus 25%. Warmth, 24%. I forgot to add it. That's where it's gone wrong. Add filter. Okay, yeah. Next, I'm going to cross-processing. Okay, B02, strength, 30%. Add filter. So these are all staying on now. Uh, detail extractor is next. Okay, I want 11% for the detail. Okay, the contrast, I want minus 30%. And the saturation, 4%. Check contrast doesn't look right. Uh, it looks a little bit too much for me. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll come back to that. We'll put it on minus twenty. Put it on minus twenty for now, and we'll uh, we'll come back to that one. Um, effect radius. Ah, uh, that's because it needs to be fine. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, saturation four percent. I'm just reading my notes here. Okay, I'm going to add that filter. Okay, and then gradient fill. Where are you? No, sorry, uh, glamour glow. So thirty-two percent for glow. Saturation minus twenty-nine percent. Yeah, and warmth six percent. And click OK. So we can already see. Let's just uh, let's just double check that camera floor effects pro. What was it? The uh, glamour glow, wasn't it? Yeah, minus twenty nine percent. So is it detail extractor? Contrast minus thirty percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's just go back into it. Detail extractor contrast minus thirty percent. Yeah, happy days. Okay, so you see the uh, the difference that's made there. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is a uh, gradient fill. Uh, where are you, gradient fill? There we go, and with the colour down the bottom, so the colour is going to be the hex code E2CFAE, click OK, 
Okay, now the opacity, I'm going to have a uh, 70%. Okay, and then this color over here, 9D8E75. Okay, and the opacity there is going to be 0%. Click OK. Okay, so I want a uh, radial. Now it's up to you where you uh, where you like a position. You can have it there, but uh, I went with the uh, top left for the light. Okay, the scale. I bump it up. Uh, obviously, the more you have it, the bigger effect it's going to be. One twenty-two. I think I went with one about one ten, one one five. Uh, yeah, and then just move around and position in it wherever you would like. And I'm going to go with roughly around there. So we've got the light coming off here. So remember, we had the dodge and burn. We had a uh, bit of a shadow down there from the dodge and the burn. Okay, and then the, the lightness up here. And then same with Mo. We've, we've done the shadows on this area down here. Okay, but we've also done the highlights on his face as though he's looking into it. And then last adjustment layer is going to be curves. And all I'm simply going to do is just drop it down slightly. Give a little effect. You can give it a bit of a uh, bit of an effect. Let me lift it up. You see the difference we've made there, and that is it. That that's our uh, so sorry. It looks a little bit different there from the from the color wise. In fact, that's why because that needs to change to uh, linear light. So nearly missed that one there. There we go. Looks a lot better. So there we go. There's uh, there's our Mo Salah. There's a Mo Salah image. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've noticed I've, got, I've had quite a few subscribers recently. Thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. If you're uh, if you're new, you like my tutorials, uh, like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Really motivates me to uh, keep doing these tutorials. Thanks very much. Thank you for watching.